This video is sponsored by studywebdevelopment.com, which gives you whatever you need to start your own side hustle in becoming the ultimate freelancing developer. And this will include a 100-page guide on how to do your own side business, give you tips on SEO, and even give you website templates to help you keep going right away. Check them out in the link in the description below, and now please enjoy the video. Alright guys, what is up YouTube? It has been a while since I've done a real vlog, so that's something I actually want to do today, man. One thing I want to talk about right now, the first tip I want to talk about is, I genuinely believe that every developer needs to do in order to make sure that you start getting better as an engineer, that you don't stay exactly where you are, is number one, to make sure that you do learn something new every single day. Even if you're not like, technically learning something new every single day, I know this is something that a lot of people probably say, when you want to become a better developer, what do you need to do? today to make sure that the developer you are today is not the developer you'll be tomorrow. What is one small thing that you can add? Because you think about it, if you're already coding, right, as a professional engineer, if not, that's totally fine. You will for sure, 110%, 100% will become better. So let's say you're learning HTML. I want to be able to build a basic HTML site, no navbar, just the header, right or not even just that just the HTML tags the body tags make something centered without using just a style sheet using just literally using the style tags on that HTML file then I'm gonna do it again without Google I'm gonna look at what I did I'm gonna Google it but I'm not gonna memorize everything I'm just gonna Google how I did that and the next day do the same thing without Google and whatever task it is oh you know what I want to learn PHP but for me to be good at PHP what do I need to be able to do I have to learn it so what the heck how do I write a simple PHP function how do I write a loop now uh, when a function is ran uh, how do I return this and you just literally just add something small every single day and that that's the first actionable tip you need to be able to improve yourself as an engineer so that's number one let me go to the office now um gotta go All right, YouTube, what is up, guys? So I actually just got home from work. I wasn't really able to film in the office today because, honestly, office, I was kind of busy today. So sorry about that, dude. I wasn't able to talk too much, but I'm home right now. I just went to the grocery store. So let me tell you about the next tip that I have and what you need to become a better developer. So let me go into my kitchen really quick. All right, so the next thing I'll talk about that this next tip I'm gonna say is really important because unless you do follow this, I think that you can go down the wrong path where you're trying to just learn too many things because I'll tell you this, with all the developers I've spoken to, everyone tries to learn too many things at once. And so one thing you need to know is that in order to become a better developer, it's not always just about what you know. But to be honest, more than just like knowing all these different languages, it's really more about what you're good at. Uh, and you know, and, and I speak from experience because I mean, I don't know all the popular frameworks out there. I don't, I'm not, I don't know Angular. I'm not the best at React. I'm not the best at Vue.js. But one thing for sure is that I'm very comfortable in writing those languages, right? As a front-end engineer, I'm not a full stack, but as a front-end engineer, I'm very comfortable making websites, making email templates now, to be honest, which is really difficult. One thing I could definitely say too is that I'm also paying attention to detail, but more than anything, what I'm doing now is that more than focusing on learning many different languages, I'm only focusing on two things. And for me right now, that's just PHP and JavaScript. And even when it comes to JavaScript, it's not about learning the most latest and greatest framework or library out there, but I'm just trying to understand JavaScript well, and I'm just trying to learn, understand PHP well, because I work with PHP every single day. And actually this week in the office, I was actually assigned a PHP task that like, I don't even know PHP that well. And so that's exciting. And so now I'm being pushed to learn that too. So essentially what I'm trying to say is that it's not always about knowing the latest and greatest languages out there in the web industry, but more than anything, it's more about what you're good at, you know what I mean? It's not about learning all the frameworks out there, all the backend languages, it's not about if you're someone who knows PHP, Node.js, etc. but do you at least know Node.js well? Do you at least know how to build a website, a basic website? Do you know how to make a nav bar? How, to, what's the, what, how do you make something mobile friendly? What do you focus on? Those kind of things. Being able to be good at one thing, is more important than trying to be someone who can know everything. You know what I mean? There's a lot to say about that, but let me go ahead and make my food really quick and I'll talk to you guys when we go upstairs. I'm hoping what I said could make you change your mind. Though it doesn't really matter when my hands are tied. I'm trying to. 
All right, guys, what's up, everyone? So I wasn't able to continue vlogging yesterday. There were a few things that I actually had to uh, take care of, and so I couldn't finish doing that. So I figured, man, I was, I'm was i actually setting up my podcast setup for doing my podcast in the future, developing coding podcasts that will be going up sometime next week. I figured I might as well just finish off the video doing it video podcast style. So let me know what you think. Let's get on it. So this brings me to point number three. The third thing that you need to do to make sure that you can become the best developer that you could potentially ever be is that you need to find a mentor. And I think some people might be a little discouraged by this or, want, or feel like, why do I need a mentor? I could just watch YouTube videos, right? It's very interesting. Someone told me that works at Amazon. He said they actually encourage developers who are really good at what they do to mentor other developers. Like they encourage that as they're working there, that they make it a goal, a habit, a, a culture within the company where they're actually mentoring other people. And I didn't ask why when I was told this, I was just amazed. I'm like, wow, okay. So what I started doing, I don't work at Amazon, but I started mentoring other people too. I mentor someone in Australia. I mentor someone in Florida. I mentor another person here in California. Even though it doesn't help me, particularly in regards to getting better as a developer, what I started learning or started realizing is that it actually does. As I'm mentoring other people, it helps me realize what I do know and what I don't know as well, but it also helps me build a sense of really building a community. And I think that's something we all need to do if you're really skilled as a developer. I'm not saying I'm skilled, but I'm just doing my best to help others. But even for you as a mentee, right? I think that's what you call yourself. I think it's really important that we find someone to help mentor us because even I have a mentor. I have someone who works uh, at Amazon, right? And he's not trying to help me get a job at Amazon whatsoever, but he's helping me. And what's really interesting, what I really like about this person, his name is Arlo. And when he reached out to me, I was blown away by this. He, he reached out to me and he was like, Chris, I've seen your videos on YouTube and you seem really passionate and hungry to learn code. And at Amazon, we actually mentor a lot of people. And he told me pretty much, I wanted, he wanted to see if I want to be mentored by him. And I'm like, all right, is this guy really legit? So I checked out his Instagram and I'm like, oh my gosh, this guy's really legit, <laughs> right? So for the past two to three months, three months, if not four months, he's actually been mentoring me. And I feel like I haven't been taking as much advantage of it as I should. And I'll tell you this though, he has opened up my eyes in the world of code. Actually, within my last videos, within the last three months, a lot of it has been based off of what we were talking about, between what he and I were talking about. For me, it was always about learning React, learning React, Angular, learning Vue.js, learn a JavaScript framework. That's what it's all about. Become full stack. And that's what I always thought. And that's true. That is what gets you a job. That is what helps you make money right now. But he told me this. He said, Chris, more than just trying to learn the most important language out there right now, the most popular one right now, because there were many JavaScript frameworks and libraries that were popular that are no longer popular anymore. And he said, more than that, just become an engineer that can build anything. Become an engineer that can learn any language. And I'm like, whoa, that's so true. And if you've noticed, I've been saying that in my past videos. But why am I able to see this kind of view from someone who is able to pretty much do a lot and do many things and lead a team and et cetera from the senior developer is because he has experience that I don't have. He's learned things I haven't learned. He's made mistakes I haven't made and so I'm able to learn from him. So that is number three. I recommend that you do find someone that can mentor you. All right, let's go to tip number four. The fourth thing I really wanna talk about is that sometimes motivation isn't enough. You could be motivated to do many things. You could be motivated to go vegan. You could be motivated to eat healthy. You could be motivated to be a, become a better person. But sometimes that motivation isn't enough. Why? Because if you're like me, I'm motivated to do a lot of things. But sometimes, just sometimes, I don't have the discipline to do what I'm motivated to do. I could be so excited to learn these backend languages. But still, even though I feel so motivated, I still don't do anything. I might do it well for the first two or three weeks, but after that, I stop. So one thing that we need to learn, especially as aspiring developers or new developers, I still consider myself to be a new developer. I still feel like a junior engineer. Is that one thing that I still need to continually build, and I believe that's something you need to do as well, is that you need to be able to build discipline. 110% of the time, discipline will trump motivation. If you build that discipline to make sure you learn something new every single day, if you find a discipline to make sure that you build a project every single month, if you build that discipline to make sure that you learn Whatever you want to do, whatever project you have in mind, that you have the discipline to do something about it. For example, what I'm going to do is I'm sleeping at 12 a.m. today and I'm going to wake up at 6 a.m. 
so that I can study more code. Not even just that, so I can record these podcasts now. Is that going to be easy? Heck no, since I've been sleeping so late every single day. But one thing I'm learning to do is that I need to really push myself. So right after I do this video, right after I edit it, I'm going to make sure I knock out right away, wake up at 6 a.m. no matter what time I sleep and work on something to be more productive in the morning. Now, last but not least, the last thing I want to talk about is this. First, never give up. Like really never give up. I mean, to this day, sometimes I feel like I do. Actually creating this YouTube channel, literally six months ago, I was talking to my friend Joshua and I told him, you know what? When March comes, I'm done. I'm done making YouTube videos. I just don't want to do it no more. And I got discouraged thinking like, you know what? My channel's not going to grow anymore. My videos, no one's going to watch it. But now when you look at my channel, like my view per video ratio, my sub count view ratio per video, I don't know what you call it. It's kind of insane. I get about 10,000 views per video. I don't know what this video will get, right? And I didn't get here simply because I'm the best. I'm not. I don't think I create the best content, but I think it's because I never gave up. Even though I don't upload as consistent as I used to, I'm still going at it. And that's something you need to do as an engineer, is that you need to keep going. You need to keep learning. There are times you're going to mess up. You're going to F up, right? But you just have to keep going. But last but not least, this is the point I really want to hit, and I think it's very important, is that as engineers, we need to ha do something with social media. And actually, I was talking to my boss about this literally last week. He was talking about how it was kind of cool that Amazon reached out to me. And he was talking about how, you know, a, a lot of times, when it comes to interviews when you, you say you send an application one thing that can help that company get a deeper insight into your life before they interview you to get to know that real person that where, where you're not trying to hide yourself or be faking it you know how when you go to an interview you're trying to impress them is that when they look into your social media when they look at your twitter your instagram maybe you have a blog maybe you have a youtube through that they're able to see the real you and one thing i can say is that Yes, having a channel isn't the reason I got a job at where I'm at now, but it helped them get an insight to the kind of person I am. The way I enunciate my words, my personality, my smile when I talk. Um, these are things that really are me. If you were to meet me in person, the way I talk right now, the way I am on camera is how I am in real life, except when I'm focused and working, right? And having a presence on social media is very important, Instagram or etc. And so I think that's something that a lot of engineers would lack or don't put a much too much effort into but that will help you a lot that's something that i believe it helped me a lot and i hope that helped you too so anyway man i want to end the video here guys um if you're looking for a mentor i forgot to mention this make sure you go to my discord channel there are a lot of really good engineers in there developers the moderators i make only the best people the moderators not the best they're not always going to be the best developers but the best kind hearted people we got a lot of people in there so hit up that discord if you haven't yet but anyways guys i'm gonna end the video here thank you guys for watching last but not least man i gotta plug this in i am starting a twitch channel it is pretty cool actually i already started and, I, and I'm streaming about two or three hours a day. And then, you know, after coding early in the morning, though, right? I'm not lacking on that. So hit me up on that if you haven't. But thank you guys for watching. I'm going to end the video here. This is Krishan. This is the life of a developer. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.